everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2018 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 13. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there. Okay, so let's jump straight into question 13. Okay, this over here is question 13 and this question is testing us on graph and we should analyze and this question is also testing us on average. So let's read the question for part A. The bar graph shows the number of visitors to a museum from Monday to Friday last week. <clears throat> what was the average number of visitors from Monday to Friday last week? Okay, let's highlight the key information. So, this is just the bar graph showing from Monday to Friday last week. So, they're asking us what is the average number of visitors from Monday to Friday last week. Okay. So I think you understand what I've highlighted. So now let's move on to analyzing the bar graph. So in order to analyze the bar graph, right, we need to know the value of each line. Okay. So remember how I told you to do this? Okay, I think you remember. So basically, we need to take the first number minus the second number. So 50 minus 0 is equal to 50. After that, we have to take the difference divided by the number of gaps. So there's one gap here, two gap, three gap, four gap, five gap. So I'm going to take 50 divided by 5, which is 10. So each line is 10, okay? So let's label all of them. So here is 100, because it's pointing to 100, okay? And then here it is pointing to 200, so... Over here it is 200, over here it is 300, another two lines over, okay? So it is 350, another two lines over, right? So 350, 360, 370, okay? After that here, 200, one line over, so it is 210, over here it is 300, one line below, so 300 minus 10, it is 290. Okay, now that we have highlighted the key, the the bar, each of them, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Wednesday, and Friday, now we can move on to finding the average. So, in order to find average, we need to find the total first. So, I'm going to take 100 plus 200 plus 210 plus 290 and plus 370 plus 210 and 290. So, 100, 200, 370, 210, 290, all of them add up together is 1170. After that, we know that average is equal to total divided by the total number of days. So, there's 5 days, right? So, 170 divided by 5 is equal to 234. So, 234 is the average. Okay, now for part B. Part B, let's read the question. The average number of visitors on Saturday and Sunday was 16 more than the average number of visitors from Monday to Friday. Okay, so let's highlight it. The average number of visitors on Saturday and Sunday was 16 more than the average number of visitors on Monday to Friday. Okay, so Monday to Friday is really important and Saturday to Sunday is really important. <clears throat> 16 more. And then they are telling us to write down one of the possible set of values for the number of visitors on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so I think I understand what part B is asking us. So let's move on to solving part B. Okay, so this is part B, right? So what I've done first is taking 234 plus 16, which is 250. Why did I do this? Because 16 more and we know that the average for Monday to Friday is 234. So it's 250. And I'm going to find the total value for Saturday and Sunday altogether. Okay? So the total, that's basically two days, right? And we know that the average is 250. So in order to find the average, we divide by two. But in order to find the total, we times two, the same number of days. So it will give us 500. Okay. So one of the many possible set of values can be 250 on Saturday and 250 on Sunday. But there's so many answers, right, that I can only put one of them, so which is 100 and 400. 
But if you got another answer like 250 and 250, still correct. If you got another answer, 200 and 200 and 300 is still correct. If you do the uh, opposite way, 300, 200, still correct. There's so many answers, you know, for this part, part B only. It's because there's many possible set of values. So you got to understand that. Okay, so I think you'll understand my explanation for this question, question 13. And I hope you'll understand how to find average, right? And analyze the graph. Okay, so I hope you have learned something new. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!